In today's video, we will be discussing the regional history of Myanmar. This includes both the country and adjacent areas. Myanmar is the buffer between South and Southeast Asia. As such, it was greatly influenced by both civilizations, creating a unique blend of different traditions. As with many civilizations I cover, Myanmar's history is overlooked in favor of its neighbors, in this case, Thailand, India, and Bangladesh. During this video, I'll refer to the country as Myanmar, or Burma when relevant, but the people as Burmese or the specific ethnicity's name. The first major civilization in Myanmar were known as the Pew City States. The Pew were part of a people that migrated to Myanmar, specifically the Irrawaddy River Delta in the southern part of the country, presumably from China. These city-states lived in relative peace and prosperity for over a millennia. The most prominent city-state was known as Sri Kasetra. Sri Kasetra was a civilization that invented what would become the modern Burmese calendar. This period of stability came to an end when the Nanzhao civilization from southern China invaded the region. Many city-states were sacked and their inhabitants taken as slaves. Others, however, survived longer. It is speculated that these invaders assimilated the Pew people into their society, and this formed the modern Burmar people, who are the main ethnic group in Myanmar. In Thailand, the Mon people created a kingdom known as the Varvati. The Mon were an Austroasiatic group, as opposed to the Tibeto-Burman Burmese. The Varvati lasted for around five centuries and was a loose confederation of Mon city-states rather than a unified empire. The expanding Khmer Empire took many areas inhabited by the Mon people, which may have prompted their migration to Myanmar. In Thailand, the Labu Kingdom arose in the area, and it began taking more influence from Thai migrants from the north, which would later become the modern Thai people we see today. In Myanmar, the Mon founded several notable kingdoms. One of the most notable Mon city-states that existed was Tatan, which may also be referred to as a kingdom in itself. Being situated on the coast of the Bay of Bengal, it was very influenced by Indian traditions, mainly Theravada Buddhism. Bataan was eventually annexed by the Pagan or Bagad Kingdom after a three-year siege of their capital city, Bataan. Unlike the Mon-speaking Bataan, the Bagan were speakers of the modern Burmese language and likely predecessors of the modern Burmar. However, the Mon people rebounded after the collapse of the Pagan Kingdom. A Mon king named Wareru combined several Mon-speaking regions of Myanmar, including the modern name Mon State and the Irrawaddy River Delta region into a kingdom called Hantawadi. Its Burmese-speaking rival, the Ava Kingdom, was looking to invade and conquer the region. However, the Hantawadi fended off all attempts. While Ava declined during the 15th century CE, Hantawadi prospered and entered a golden age in which its ties with India were strengthened and Theravada Buddhism flourished. However, a new Burmese-speaking kingdom under the Tonggu dynasty constantly raided the kingdom, causing its eventual demise. But when the Tonggu dynasty fell into a weaker period, the Mon people rebelled and created the restored Hantawadi kingdom. The restored Hantawadi kingdom persecuted Burmese people living in the area and oppressed those from the Tonggu and Aba kingdoms. This kingdom met with the Burmese kingdom of Konbong during campaigns in Upper Burma. The Konbong were successful in holding them off and advanced further south. This has led to the demise of the restored Hantawadi Kingdom. This signaled the end of the dominance that the Mon people held in Myanmar. The Konbong dynasty expanded rapidly, especially after annexing the Mon kingdoms of Lower Burma. Eventually, under the King Awang Paya, all of Burma was unified, including the northeast Indian state of Manipur. With the entire area unified, the Konbong shifted southwards and launched raids on the region of Siam, where the Ayutthaya Kingdom was dominant. After decades of conducting campaigns throughout the region, Thailand and Laos were briefly brought under the rule of the Konbong. But with the Qing dynasty in China attacking the northern reaches of the empire, native Thai kingdoms were able to free themselves from foreign rule. As European powers continued exploring Asia, many set up trading ports on the Irrawaddy Delta region. Tensions with the British reached a peak when the sore points of a blurred border in northeastern India and the French also having access to the Irrawaddy Delta led to war. In the First Anglo-Burmese War, Arakan, Manipur, and Assam were all seated by the Burmese. In the Second Anglo-Burmese War, the crucial Irrawaddy Delta region was taken, and in the Third Confrontation, the entire area was incorporated into British India, ending the Konbong Dynasty. In 1937, a growing number of Burmese residents were pushing to be independent of Great Britain. As they were about to make a final push for independence, World War II began and Japan advanced into Southeast Asia and into Burma. The Burmese people were rather mixed in their support for the Japanese, and many would often switch sides and fight for the British. After the Allied troops emerged victorious in World War II, leaders continued in their push for an independent Burma. Aung San, a prominent leader in Myanmar's independence, was unfortunately assassinated by rivals who supported the British. 
Nevertheless, the independence movement continued, and on January 4, 1948, Myanmar, then called the Union of Burma, became an independent republic. In 1989, the government decided to change the nation's name to the Union of Myanmar, and later the Republic of the Union of Myanmar, which it is currently known as. Unfortunately, several conflicts have arisen lately. The conflict between Rohingya Muslims and Rakhine Buddhists in the northern reaches of the Rakhine state has led to mass migrations and genocides of the Rohingya people. Several leaders of Myanmar have been accused of supporting this. Rohingya have moved from the edges of Myanmar into neighboring countries, mainly Bangladesh, India, and Malaysia. Myanmar has had a rich history of different ethnic groups prospering and mixing throughout its history, from the Mon to the Indians to the Burmese. All have made contributions to the modern-day vibrant culture of Myanmar, and I hope I have done an adequate job in explaining the history of this unique country, and I apologize for any mispronunciations. Thank you for watching and leave any suggestions or corrections in the comments below, and subscribe to this channel to keep up with the latest content.